So I'm going to share with you today why my craft space works so well for me and maybe give you some things to think about if you were designing your own craft space. So this is my main craft wall and I have pretty much everything I need to hand to be able to craft here. Now, um, the thing that I struggled with before is I had a static desk along this wall that I couldn't move and it meant that I couldn't take photographs onto projects facing the window with natural light but now I can actually move these tables they're not set in place I can move them around and get in between the table and the wall if I want to get um, some good light for taking photographs but it also gives me a lot of space to craft on I could actually have um, four people even eight people tightly or um, six people comfortably crafting in this room and I could move these tables further in um, but for now um, this works for either myself or my my sister who comes in and works with me once a week um, to, to spread out I've just sorted all my catalogues out and that's been all spread out over that table so it's lovely to have a big work area so another thing that's worked really well for me um, is I do love having all my card on show. Be very careful if you were to do this in your own home that there's not a lot of sun bleaching the card. Um, so it very much depends on where the sun comes into your room and where it falls. So just be mindful of that. But I've got all the four colour families on the top and then I've got the basics, whites. I've got the pale papaya there because I don't know where else to put that. But I've got watercolour paper and vellums and all sorts. And then we've got their ink pads, ink refills and the matching pens. These units here and here are from Creations by Rod, which fit the IKEA Calax unit. So you can see that I've got two Calaxes, the four whole ones on top of one another to create eight holes. And they've been um, put in so that the height of the ceiling, this room has a low ceiling. Um, but it meant that I could go all the way to the ceiling. I can still reach quite happily um, up to these cards and I'm not very tall, so that works great for me. Another thing I love is having the ribbon in rainbow order. I just pull the ribbon that I need out of the, out of here. I can just simply pull it down and, and cut off what I need or I can take the entire spool out. So sometimes these ribbon spools that have a, piece of wood to go through the middle of the ribbon. It means you have to take all the edge pieces on if you want to keep it rainbow colour, which is quite annoying. Um, another thing I've done which works well is I have all my large punches along a shelf. Um, it's making me not buy loads more punches and if I buy new punches, it's making me get rid of older ones, which is no bad thing. I don't use all of those punches all of the time. But it means they're on show and I find that if something's on show, you're far more likely to use it. Um, so that's my ribbon, punches, ink, card, everything on hand. Another thing that works really, really well is this. This is Creations by Rod again. Um, and I bought these 12 by 12 pockets, which have little tabs. And I just store my patterned paper in, I do two per section because that fits nicely. So all my patterned paper is in here, including the speciality papers, glimmers, you know, laser cuts, foil. That means all my 12 by 12 that I get my hands on regularly is here. Now I do also have six by six that's stored down here. And I've got the same little pocket inserts and I just store them by different um, style there. So that they're on show again. I've got my, let's go back over here. I've got my, these are Gned beasts. Um, DVD storage um, from Ikea so they are designed to store a typical DVD case and our stamps come in DVD cases so these fit perfectly and um, I just basically start here with A's and then go down to here here and then go back up to here and then down to here these two bottom ones are retired, as are these two bottom ones. And then we carry on the alphabet from here, down, and here. 
down. Woo. Um, now I've broken up the stamps with some cards or some buttons, whatever. I've got some extra ink pads just to make it look bright and colourful and not just be too dull with just white ink pads. I've stored my blends um, in one of the, the openings in the Ganebi and that works really, really well. This is the storage from Stamping Up. Um, designed to fit the blends and I've just added more because no doubt I'll be buying more with the new in colours. I also um, fitted this um, Besta unit in the centre. It's a drawer unit and it's Besta from Ikea but the, the width of it was actually less than the um, Calax units. So we I asked the joiner to just create little openings at either end and that is to store the things which are um, bigger than um, my units allow. So the grid paper fits perfectly in there, some 12 by 12 extra card. I also put my catalogues in here too. And then in this side, I've got my photographic um, background, the scoreboard and more trimmers. And then I have my um, die cutting machine. All the embossing folders are to hand on here. And then I have, um, obviously I've got some tools and things here. Then in this drawer, I have all my dies. So I store them alphabetically. I just write the name and how many dies are in each sleeve with the information of the name and everything on the back as well. And I just have those alphabetically. So these are the wider ones. These are the thinner ones. These are my spare blends if I've got duplicates. And these drawers are push open. Um, so I've got all my basics in here. So more clear blocks, smaller punches, more ink pads, the, the stamping mats, the heat tool, all that kind of thing. And then the bottom ones are cupboards. <coughs> Excuse me. So in here, I store my scraps of cards. So when I'm crafting, for example, and I'm using this color or whatever, I take these out onto my desk and have it next to me and so I can use the scraps and then when I'm finished I put them back in here. Here are the little packs of um, boxes and, and different things that we sell um, or have sold. I don't tend to part with those. That's why it's bulging at the seams. And then this side I have, um, I have glue. Again this is another Ikea box which fits perfectly. So I have glue and then I have some extra stamps and odds and ends in here. Um, I've got stamps there that are specific to demonstrators or being a demonstrator. These are my scrapbooking supplies, all my 12 by 12. So everything related to my scrapbooking is all in one place. And then any extra cardstock that I have that isn't stored above is stored here. So there, as you can see, I've got lots of white um, and some other colors, but yeah, that's where I keep all my extra card. Then um, I then have this Besta unit. I actually have three um, separate ones that are loaded on top of one another. And that little bit here was, was a Besta unit, but it's too shallow. So the joiner made it, um, sorry, it was too wide. So the joiner made it shallower to fit on the top. He also did the same here and here. And that so happens to um, fit the Besta, not the Besta, to fit hmm what's it called bullig i think it's called the little baskets fit there really nicely so um that's worked really really well so in my cupboards i hold put all my embellishments and small things in the wide stamp cases that we used to sell um these are tins that were free or with kits that i've saved and i use those they're really useful for storing lots of things and then they fit perfectly in these best of units and as you can see, it's repeated. Um, it's where I keep all my embossing powders, all my um, paint brushes, all the little bits and bobs that you need. If I know where, mm, I know I've got something like that, it'll be somewhere in here. So it's pretty well organized. I know pretty much where everything is. So that works really well for me. And the only other addition is this Raspog unit, which is here, which is so handy. So whenever I'm crafting, I just drag it over to where I am. It's on wheels. 
I have, I take the lid off and I've got all my basics that I, that I need to go to. So black ink pad, glue, I've got my stamp cleaner. I've got all the basics, sort of one of everything in this top tray. The beauty of that is I can cover it, but when I'm actually using it, I can just turn it to one side like that. Still got access to everything in, but if I want to die cut, I can. Then I've got more bits and bobs in the next two trays, whatever you need when you're crafting. So I've got my trimmer and all sorts of things here. So that works really well. So I tend to drag this to where I'm sitting. I have my clear blocks on hand um, and I have my little um, spinning uh, unit which has all my tools in it. So pretty much I can just grab grid paper, the stamp set I need, uh, maybe the scraps of card and I'm good to go. I've got everything I need all really close hand and everything I need to craft, if you've noticed, is all on this side of the room. And I've tried to zone my craft room, which has worked really well. So when you turn and face the other way, this is what I call my postal area. So um, there's a store cupboard just here. Um, and I've shared a photograph of what's inside. I have two printers in there. I store my printer paper and all those things that you just want out of sight. I don't want to see. This is another um, Vesta unit. And then this, I can't remember what this is called, but it's a, it's basically just a three drawer unit and we've attached them together. And in here I store all my catalogues um, and anything used for sending mail out. So I've got my jiffy bags, I've got my mailing bags, um, postal sacks, all sorts of things. So that's all in here. And then this one is the most used one. I've got my postal scales, envelopes, labels, all my stamps, sellotape, and just any other bits that are relating to posting things out, even a calculator to work out the postage. Um, and then my aprons and my tape. And then more envelopes and cello bags in the bottom and carrier bags. So that's all the things I should need when sending anything out in the mail. There's a little um, tray here for imminent things that need to get sorted. But the rest of this is really just useful storage that's designed to look nice. I store all my um, made cards in here. Um, so yeah, and then I put some things up here too. So for example, I have some, some items that I use for styling at Christmas or whatever, they're tucked away. They don't need to be used very often. So I've really thought long and hard about what needs to be on hand what's used frequently and what's used infrequently. Now I work in this space um, and that means that um, I don't tend to craft here. This is all my computer work here. And I have these cupboards just here, both sides are actual storage cupboards. So you can open the door and there's lots of things hidden in there. I've taken photographs of what I've got in there. And the only other thing to mention is this drawer unit here is exactly the same as the drawing unit over there. And um, it's from Ikea again. Um, and we've built the desk to fit around that. So I made it deeper than that unit um, and wider so that we could create our own desk. Bought a worktop, a breakfast bar type worktop and put it on. And the rest of this is MDF and painted. So it works so well. Um, I'm so pleased with it. And I will talk about my specific tips and things to think about when designing your space to, uh, to hopefully help you not make expensive mistakes and to make sure that you're using your area to the best you can.